So after upgrading VirtualBox to the latest version, I encountered a weird problem, which is no machine want to start. Whenever I try to start any machine, it show me a message calling that it, I cannot, uh, or the virtual machine cannot read the memory. The machine look, uh, the, the error message look exactly like this. So I open the log files of the virtual machines and try to find out what is the root cause of the problem. And unfortunately, I couldn't uh, manage to find any clear reason. But as I can see from the context, the machine is trying to detect the hardware and checking if there is hard drivers or hardware need to be plugged in. And also I googled uh, Oracle websites in order to search for uh, if, if anybody encountered the same issue before. Then I found someone that exactly uh, was uh, exposed with the same error. And what he did is he just disabled the audio card from the virtual machine. So we will try now to open the settings of the virtual machine and try to uh, select the audio and uh, unclick the enable audio and then we will start the machine again and we will check what is the result after disabling the uh, audio card. So it seems that uh, the machine is starting normally with no problems. So uh, hopefully this was the issue. The video card need to be disabled. This issue happened after upgrading my, vir my virtual box software from version 6.1.16 to 6.1.26. So I think this is a, is a solution. And as you can see here, I have another machine that have still have the same or, or still has the same issue. And from uh, the log files, I cannot see anything related to audio. So I will try to click on find and search if there is a problem in, it, in audio. So in, in audio driver, uh, as you can see here, there are multiple strings or multiple log messages related to audio, but none of them uh, saying or uh, explicitly uh, informing me that I cannot connect it to uh, the audio driver. So I will try to uh, use the keyword cannot or cannot or unable. Then I will use the word connect. So I can see here a connect failure message or as a word connect, connect failure, but it is equal false. So it should, it should not mean anything for me right now. Okay. Anyway, I will try to start the Linux machine, the Kali Linux machine and see if the same problem will happen again. So I will try to start the machine and, uh, I, I, I am, I am certain that I will get the same error message. So after getting this error message, I should, uh, as I expected, I received the same error message. So I will now go go to this machine and apply the same fix. I will try to go to audio settings and remove the enable audio check mark. Or let's say that you can use any other driver or you, you may uh, try to change the controller. So I will try to change the controller with this machine because this is a Linux machine and I may use it to listen to audio and this sort of thing. So I will try to do a normal start. But unfortunately, I received the same error. So I will try to re-edit the machine. I will open the settings and choose the audio. And now I will try to uh, select null audio driver and audio controller will be Intel HD audio. Then I will click OK. Then I will try to restart. Actually, I don't have uh, a methodology to solve this problem, but as uh, from the context, uh, I can understand that the machine after upgrade, uh, some, some integration between the virtual box and the device audio uh, went broken. This may be because of update in VirtualBox software itself. And as you can see here, after tuning the audio settings, after going to my machine and uh, change the settings, selecting the audio and selecting the host audio driver to null audio driver and the audio controller is Intel HD audio or the uh, vid audio controller that is currently on your machine. 
the machine is now working, uh, I hope, uh, properly 